Hi, in the earlier lecture, we saw how to add a key value pair as well as how to retrieve the key value pair and list what are all the keys available in any specific path. Now, let us see how to retrieve any specific field available within any path. I am going to use the command get and the parameter field that is vault kv get dash field and name of the field that is username within the path secret apps ticket app. I can verify the same thing within the web UI. So within the secret apps ticket app, I am going to get the username. So I should get the value app1. Yes, I do have the value app1. And in case if I wanted the value in any specific format, I can use the option dash format. That is vault kb get dash format and then the format that is json and within the path ticket app. Within the ticket app, I do have two keys, password and username. Both should be available as a json format. So I do have the json format data that is password and the username. Along with that, I will be getting the metadata as well because by default, the secret path it's going to use the key value engine of version 2. Now in case if I want any specific value within this particular JSON path, I can use a very lightweight JSON processor that is JQ. And installation is very simple. There are n number of documentation available on using the JQ JSON processor. I'm using the version 1.6. Now I can get the JSON format and pipe that output to the jq and retrieve only the value password so what i can do within data i do have internal structure another data and then the password so i can retrieve data dot data dot password from the json output format from the path secret slash apps slash ticket so i'm going to get the password at one two three now if you look at the history I do have all the values that got recorded over here. That is the username and the password. That is the secrets that we provided while adding it using the put command. And this is going to be a security breach. There are n number of secure options available. When the key value is going to be the simplest option, we need to have another way where I can provide the input using the standard input. Let's add that particular secret where I'm going to put a secret in the path secret slash ENG slash API key slash Google, where I'm going to key in the value with the option hyphen. So it's going to listen to the standard input. Let me give the keys and to break, I should use the command control D. And data is going to be in this specific path with this going to be the value. We can verify that using the web UI, ENG, API key, Google. I do have the value that I entered over here. And this is the key. So it's going to get the value from the standard input because I have provided hyphen over here. And if I look into the history, I will not be in a position to retrieve what value was provided as the key. Or I can place the value as a part of a JSON file and provide that as an input to add that within the KV engine. Let me create a sample file. I'm going to create a file called API key.txt. That's going to have a small key value structure. I'm going to have a key named key and value corresponding to it. Let me add this particular file into a path secret slash eng api key slash yahoo. And the file that I wanted to add prefixed with at. The file will be read and that will be provided as the data input to this particular path. The same can be verified within the web UI. So I do have the key and the value. Let me have multiple key value pair within the file. I'm going to copy the file and update them. I'm going to have a couple of keys that is security key and then the value corresponding to it, then access key and the value corresponding to it. Let me add this as a key and the corresponding file name. I can verify the same thing using either command line interface or the web UI. I do have the access key and security key as we added using the text file. So this is one another way of adding the data 
in a secure way and I can protect that particular data and uh, the data that we are adding will not get recorded or I can provide the information to the shell not to record the history whenever I am using the command vault. So I can export the environmental variable hist ignore and uh, add this particular value so any command that I am using with the vault it will not get recorded. So let me add a sample key value pair and check the history. So it should not be available within the history and this is going to suppress all the values getting recorded which are starting with the command vault. In case if that needs to be rolled back that is to record all the commands I can use the command export hist ignore equal to empty string and while adding multiple key value pair it will not be possible to enter each and every value and there also storing the key value pair as a part of the file and adding them using the and adding them from the file will be much useful. So as a part of this particular path I wanted to add the keys url, db name, username and password. And this is going to be a little more complicated and structuring the command will also be difficult. For that what I can do I can go ahead and add these values as a part of a json file and provide the json file as the input. Let me create a sample json file. I am going to create a json file called mongodb.json. Now I will be using the specific json file with the symbol at. Since it is available in the same folder that I am using I don't need to provide the path or I can give the relative path as well over here. Now let me get the values that got added as a part of this path. Yes I do have all the keys and their corresponding values. So as a part of this lecture we saw how to add the value from the standard input so that it doesn't get recorded as a part of the command history. Also how to add it from the file and how to suppress the commands getting registered as a part of the history. So these are all some of the precautions we need to take care while adding the key value or the secrets into the vault engine.